Our team recently had the opportunity to repair the foundation of a concrete tilt-up building in the hills of Diamond Bar, California. Overlooking the 60 freeway, the 55,000 square foot building that was built in 1988 had settled well over eight inches and with its proximity to the hillside, it had moved laterally towards the hill several inches. A local investment group had purchased the property with the plans of completing a building renovation. But before they could get started, they needed to address the compromised foundation. One of the challenges presented with this project was that the two-story tilt-up was not only located on a hill, but it had a combination foundation consisting of a shallow 36-inch footing as well as 46 interior and exterior pad footings. The initial project design consisted of a combination of old school foundation techniques, utilizing micropiles and grade beams. The problem with this concept was although it would prevent future building movement, it would not have the ability to raise the building and address the eight inches of differential settlement. After visiting the site, our team designed a repair plan that would yield far better results in a much shorter time period in order to allow for the investment group to get their renovation started in a matter of months rather than a matter of years. Our commercial project consultant, Brett Woodall, put together the project data for our engineering staff who came back with a design utilizing a combination of 87 push piers, 12 helical tiebacks, and 10,000 pounds of polyurethane grout injection. Our crews began the project by marking off the pier and tieback locations around the exterior footing and interior pad footings. Then it was time to cut and break out the concrete in order to excavate below the footings to allow for our push pier bracket systems to be installed. Next, the team began hydraulically driving the push piers into the soils with each pier averaging a depth between 30 and 50 feet before reaching an insulation value exceeding 28,000 pounds. After each of the piers were installed and their brackets mounted, it was time for lift. Our geopolymer crew met our peering crew on site to inject the polyurethane grout into the soils and under the slab to help assist with the lifting process with the push piers. Lifting one area of the building at a time, they worked their way around the structure slowly lifting the building until they reached maximum practical recovery and locked the piers in place. Following the lifting phase, the crew began installing the 12 helical tiebacks in calculated locations to allow the building to resist lateral movement it had been experiencing. The crew installed the tiebacks to depths ranging from 16 feet all the way up to 50 feet and reached insulation torque values exceeding 4,100 foot-pounds. Once the tiebacks were installed, the crew compacted the soils back into the freshly excavated holes and poured new concrete to replace what they had broken out.